Currently we have the STZ and the STX230, and we can cast a pretty wide net uh, with those two models, the Z being kind of the straightaway and the X being the one that's a little bit more workable. But there, there's still like an opening for uh, one more driver that we need, and that's the STG. It's a 440cc. When you look at it address, you're, you're going to see that it's kind of like a modern player's pear shape. Very beautiful, a uh, little bit deeper face sits dead square to dress. When we're utilizing our fast track technology, which we've actually increased the length of the track, now they go all the way from the front where the core tech chamber is, uh, all the way to the far rear of the sole plate here. So that gives us more ability to move weight around. So if we've got a player that doesn't fit nicely in the Z bucket or the X bucket, now we have a tool we can go to where we can really, really fine tune the center of gravity and, and dial that player in. So the STG head is actually designed to be a low spin driver, but because it is adjustable in terms of center of gravity, it can be adjusted from low to mid-low. So we're really, this is really designed for, typically has higher head speed, could have like a level to negative angle of attack. We can get the spin down, no problem. Um, if it's somebody who really doesn't have any uh, low spin requirement, then we can put the weights in the back. And what that does is actually it increases the MOI of the head and brings the, the spin rates up into kind of more of a normal level. We've got several new technologies going on here. One is the new face material. It is forged. It is a beta-rich titanium. The name that we're giving it is Thai LFS, which is lighter, faster, stronger. We, we are seeing in our initial testing out there that we do get a, a, little, bit, a little bit of a bump in terms of, in terms of ball speed. And then Cortec Chamber, which it was featured in the 230 series, kind of a slimmed down version of it, uh, but very much the same functionality. Um, it has an inserted weight inside this transparent TPU. So we're able to place this stainless steel weight as far and forward as possible um, to actually just knock down the spin a little bit. The TPU portion itself uh, allows that Cortec chamber a little bit of flex um, to increase the core area uh, and increase the ball speed, particularly once you're hitting it a little bit lower on the face, it's gonna help keep those ball speeds up. And then the carbon crown has been expanded. And again, this is, uh, when you're talking about movable weight designs, any amount of discretionary weight can help. So you can see the carbon actually wraps around to the toe here, so we're able to save some weight there and also shift the center of gravity a little bit heel side. So when this is in a neutral configuration, meaning like a, a weight on the toe track and the heel track, it's gonna be a very neutral setting. Like it, it, the ball's gonna to wanna to go straight. And from there, you just figure out what you need. If you need less spin, you move the weights forward. If you need more spin, you move the weights back. If you need more draw, you can put both weights on the heel track. If you need more fade, you can put both weights on the toe track. So it's, it's very versatile. It's very numbers driven, right? They're, uh, they're looking at their ball speed, they're looking at their spin rates, and you know, first thing you gotta do is make sure that those are within ranges that are, are good. But then there's the more, I would say, aesthetic part of it, like how it looks at a dress, um, impact sound. By far and away, there, there was very, very well received in terms of what it looks like at a dress. Modern 440cc pear shape, a little bit, deeper face, it just, I mean, it just squares up to the ball so nicely to those guys' eyes. And then the impact sound, um, what our engineers have been able to achieve uh, in terms of harmonic impact technology and strategically placing the sound ribs within the head uh, so that you can have a solid impact sound. And, and not, not only that, you have a solid impact sound 
uh, regardless of where the weights are located, because that's always a challenge when you're talking about um, these movable weight drivers, is making sure that you have a solid impact sound at every location.